Greetings. I am Pastor Richard Troy Johnson of Bethel Church of God in Gary, Indiana, 1069 Fillmore Street, Gary, Indiana, 46402. Hey, everybody. It's good to see you guys back again. We're ready to get back into God's Word. Um, we're in a new year. We're thankful um, to be here, and I'm thankful that you're here with us today. And if you enjoy our videos, please press the subscribe button. Um, we would love um, if you would do that. Um, I do have a joke. I have a joke. Um, it was a gentleman. He was taking a plane from California to New York, and the plane had taken off. And after a while or so, the stewardess came in and came in and said, "We've lost one of our engines. We have three engines left, and it's going to take us an extra hour to get to New York." So the man, the gentleman, was getting a little restless and. He picked up a few magazines, started reading. The stewardess came back again and said, we've lost another engine and it's gonna take us an extra two hours to get to New York. They have two engines left now. And the gentleman's getting still a little restless, so he goes, plays on his phone. Then after a while, the stewardess comes back and says, ladies and gentlemen, we lost another engine. We only have one engine left. It's gonna take us an extra four hours to get to New York. And a gentleman thought about it and said, man, if we lose one more engine, we'll be up here all day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyhow, I am thankful to see you again, and we're going to get into God's word. We're going to be in Matthew today. And I have a question. Um, have you ever been got? We live in a deceitful age where people are getting over on people. It's not just the pandemic stress, but there's stress of people taking advantage of people, getting over. Have you ever been got? Have you ever bought a car, a Cadillac, and you were so happy, and you ran into a friend who also bought a Cadillac, but you found out they bought their Cadillac for $5,000 less? <laughs> and when you leave that person, you drive home in your mind thinking, I got got. <laughs> Let me talk to you gentlemen. Have you ever had a, a crush on a girl, a lady friend, and you, you always wanted to hang out with her, and she calls you one day? And you go over to her apartment, and she has you move all the furniture from her apartment to another apartment down the street. You leave home all tired and sweating, and in your mind you're saying, I got got. <laughs> You ever be left the McDonald's and you know you gave the lady a 20 and she ended up giving you change and instead of uh, what she gave you, she gave you a few ones and you didn't realize it till you were about two miles away from the McDonald's and you're sitting at the stoplight looking at your change thinking, I got got. <laughs> we know the feeling, we know the feeling. Some of you got memories of being got. And um, we live in a society now where people do take advantage of others. But we also live in a society where people are strain, strain away from the truth in God. They're looking out for other ways of finding fulfillment in their life. In Matthew chapter 24, Jesus tells the disciples how the end times will be. And that is very popular today. Everybody is looking for end time messages. Everybody is looking for what the end times are going to be like that. And for the most part, we've all heard it all. Even if you don't go to church, you've heard about end times where there'll be earthquakes, where there'll be famines, wars, rumors of wars, nations rising against nation. And we've heard it all. But the one thing that Jesus wanted the disciples and he wanted all of us to be aware of, the one thing he says in Matthew chapter 24, if you have your Bibles, and I hope you do, five, four, three, two, let's go. Matthew chapter 24, when the disciples asked him, what would it be like in the last days? before his coming, before his second coming. He says in this, highlight it if you got a highlighter. Verse four, Matthew chapter 24. Jesus answered and said unto them, 
Take heed that no man deceive you. In other words, Jesus said, don't get got. Don't get got that there's another way to heaven. Don't get got that there's another way to being fulfilled. There are people running to and fro trying all these different religions, but Jesus was very concerned and he wanted us to know, don't get got. In the Bible, he says, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He didn't say he's one of the ways. He says he's the way. And Jesus was very concerned, like we all should be these times, you got different gurus, different speakers coming with different messages, but Jesus wanted him and he wanted all of us to be careful not to get God. Remember how much he loves you. Remember that he died on the cross for you and that there's no other way under heaven that we can be saved. I love you. And I pray that while you're knowing that we are in these end times, not to be deceived, not to be got. Jesus is the only way to heaven. And out of all the warnings about end times, Jesus felt that this was the most important, that he wanted his disciples and he wanted you to know is not to be deceived. God bless you. I love you. And I pray that you'll be with us again as we go again into God's precious word. Bless you. Bye-bye.